So I joined the Navy in 1996. I was number three of seven children that my parents were raising, and I was pretty confident that my dad couldn't afford to send me to college. And it was just supposed to be one enlistment, and I was gonna get out and go be a nurse or a doctor or something along those lines. And uh, I loved it, absolutely loved being in the Navy. My husband is a retired uh, Master Chief, um, so we got stationed over in Spain in 1999. I got a job working as a secretary for the CEO of the NEMOC. It means a better way of life for me and my daughter, my family. Um, my father was in the Army, my brother was in the Army, so it was kind of like a family legacy. I just wanted to make them proud as well. Uh, my grandmother was a nurse growing up watching her. Um, she ran actually a nursing home and I thought that was kind of cool, but I also couldn't decide between that or being a math teacher. The Navy was actually a financial decision. Um, I couldn't afford to finish school, so they had a bachelor's completion program. But I got to finish nursing school, and I figured I would serve my four years and decide what I wanted to do then. And 25 plus years later, I'm still having fun. Met my husband, who's an active duty dietitian, and we've traveled the world together. I uh, did four years of active duty as a hospital corpsman, and then I stayed in the Navy Reserves for 14 years while I pursued my education. And then, um, then I uh, was deployed with Desert Storm and Desert Shield. Um, and uh, when I came back from that experience, um, it really solidified the fact that I wanted to be able to take care of uh, soldiers and sailors that maybe would be injured. I uh, was awarded my 40th year pin and my certificate December the 15th of 2015, which I'm very proud to be able to say I've served the government 40 years. I think it's great that we're being recognized because women uh, perform an integral part in the health care uh, and civil ser service uh, regime, I think, and we have a lot to offer. It's still kind of cool to recognize um, the contributions of all of the women that have come before us and um, downstairs in our building, the Sacred 20, uh, the first 20 military nurses, and they were all female, um, that started the Nurse Corps in 1908. When I joined in the, the Navy 20 years ago, uh, I didn't meet my first female senior enlisted until I'd been in the Navy for six years, um, it, actually seven years, and um, that's when I decided to make the Navy a career uh, because she was inspiring. And um, now we're 18 percent, and I think that that speaks volumes about the Navy's, Navy's dedication to keep women in the service and balance the workforce because we lead differently than men. And I think that um, it's, it's a valid contribution to the Navy's leadership team. I give back, not just a job, but I give back to my community. I give back to the people who serve as military members. And that means a lot to me. That's very important to me, to be someone who serves our military, who serves us. I lead about 50 sailors. Uh, most of them are first-term sailors, and um, which means this is their first enlistment. Uh, so a lot of counseling, talking about life goals, life decisions, and uh, making sure they come to work on time. So I stepped away from the bedside and started to train um, back in 1999. Um, and I thought I would miss the bedside, but now I think about it, I'm actually at every bedside. And now moving into the quality joint commission world, I'm also there at every bedside um, to support the patients, support the staff members and the providers who take care of them every day. Most of all my work here at the Naval Medical Center has been dedicated as collateral. And that itself, by being in the medical field, has helped me to grow and learn. And the schooling that they allowed me to go to and train as an EEO officer, as in all of the positions, helped me to apply my outside uh, towards the community and inside to help those that work with me.
I would just tell any young girl to be what she wants to be, do what she want to do. Uh, don't let anyone tell you that, you know, females can't serve or it's not good for a woman to be in the public eye in this manner. The military is a great way to see the world. It's a great way to get your education. Um, it allows you to do some things as a nurse that you couldn't do in the civilian community. One of the reasons why I love nursing um, is because there's so many different avenues. You have to find a mentor. Find someone that have, have made a difference, that have worked in a field that can encourage you. There's a lot of responsibility given to young people um, with just college education that the civilian community doesn't um, give you. So whether you want to come in for 20 years or just come in for four or five years and get out and use the benefits that the Navy has to go on and do other things and get more education, the life experiences that you get for that short time in the Navy, you can't get that anywhere else. But I do believe that we have more opportunities today than anything. And I would say to the young women, uh, be true to who they are. If they love public service, go after it with all their might and get that education and uh, be an educated, proud wo woman who wants to serve their public and who wants to serve their community.